Okay, so after a long drive, I finally arrived to my campsite. I'm excited because they put me in the Redwoods, and I've never been in the Redwoods here in this area. So, um, I'm going to get off and see what happens. Okay, so I just set up camp and as you can tell, it's right in the background. It's probably about 4 or 30 that I arrived. So um, now that I set up camp, I'm going to go ahead and explore the area. I need to get something to eat. Um, I didn't bring anything, unfortunately, which is a bad idea because it's kind of my first time camping by myself. So <laughs> um, yeah, actually this whole area, I have it all to myself, which is a great thing, but at the same time, I'm going to be alone at night too, which I don't want to think about it yet. Maybe he won't see me in the morning here because I'm going to be out, maybe. So anyways, I'm going to go get something to eat. Okay, that's my neighbor. You can see nobody's there. Yeah, my car. And then over here, we have another campsite. As you can tell, nobody's there. I'm gonna go through this one. Look at all these animals. Yeah, I'm happy right now to see animals, but wait until late at night. See how. I react to all those lovely animals at night and all the critter sounds. But as you can tell, there's pretty much nobody around. These are the front neighbors. Nobody there. Okay, I'm recording this because it's my first time camping by myself. And, uh, as you'll see in the videos, the videos prior, I was put in a location where there's hardly any other person around here. I mean, there is campers, but immediately around me, there's not really anybody. So there's my car. Uh, campground over there, thank God. There's somebody there. And for those of you who never have been camping by themselves and are not an outdoorsy people, they're usually, you know, they're like me. If you're like me, that is stuck in the city most of the time and would go crazy in the wilderness, this is, this is exactly how you feel right now. Because you can't sleep, you're hearing noises, you don't know where it's coming from, and you feel like it's close to you. Here's my tent. And right there is the, um, <laughs> it's the, um, forest. And I'm trying to see if there's other campgrounds around here, but there's nothing there. And I keep on hearing, like, these wood that's breaking. And I just couldn't sleep, so I got up. And I'm like, I need to know what it is, because otherwise I'll go crazy. Right now I'm just kind of scoping the area, just to cl clear my mind. Maybe I'll get some peace out of um, sleeping. But I did find that that, that cracking of wood or, or whatever it is, it happens to be a campground that is beyond the um, the restrooms. So at least that gave me a little bit of ease in regards to that, you know, noise. So I feel like I can probably sleep better. Okay, sorry for the poor light. Um, I'm trying to get my eyes used to the darkness. So um, I'm shining kind of a light, not directly under, because otherwise it will look kind of like a Blair Witch Project type thing. But um, I'm trying to get my eyes used to the darkness and um, 
trying to get used to the darkest <laughs> darkness too. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but I, I am here. So I'm going to attempt to fall asleep. I guess I'm just doing this video to hopefully, you know, encourage those. Oh, cool. I got a better light there. Awesome. Okay. All I can tell you is this this is the reality of of camping by yourself, you know. The first time. First time camping by myself. I, I have been camping, car camping, actually, with uh, other people and with my man. But um, actually camping by myself, this is the first time. Um, so, of course, all kinds of you know, thoughts go through my head every single time I hear a noise. Um, I think about every, you know, scary movie that you see out there, every, you know, animal encounter and all that, all kinds of theories and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, 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 it all goes into your head. So, um, I take it this is normal. Um, maybe it wouldn't be that normal if I didn't see all that, you know? Maybe that's the thing. You shouldn't be seeing those kind of things. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling off because um, trying to calm myself, I guess. And now that I know what that cracking of wood is, I think I can probably sleep better. But if it comes to the point where I can't sleep, I'll try to go inside the car and just lock myself there. And if worst comes to worst, I'll probably drive all the way to a motel. You know, but um, I'm trying to stay here. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this. Yes, I do know why. Because I want to try the outdoors. Oh, I hear voices. This is a good reason why certain people should not be camping by themselves or go hiking by themselves or just do anything by themselves. I'm parking here and I'm about to get off and here it is. You see that? There's a turkey right there. I did not notice the turkey when I was parking, which is the oddest thing because it's pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does blend in a little bit, but seriously, I got off the car and here I am looking at a turkey right next to the parking lot. I could have get bitten. If it was a wild turkey and it was vicious and it had, you know, nasty little teeth, I would have gotten bitten and killed. So if you ever forget anything such as matches, um, need firewood, or just anything that you might have forgotten for your camping trip, you have the park store and you also have the Big Sur Lodge. It's kind of like a fancy way of visiting nature. They have rooms I believe. Um, they do have a restaurant in there which I did eat. Um, if you want to know more information about that go to my website and you'll be able to see the meal that I had and how it looks like inside. But let's go inside to the YouTube store. I camped here with my family about, I think, uh, possibly 10 years. I'm trying to remember everything how it was, but I just wanted to show you some of the campsites are very open while other ones are completely in the shade, like this one. But the beauty about these is that they are surrounded by these big giant redwoods. So you have a better idea of how big these trees are. I'm going to go inside one of them, right over there. This is a massive tree. You know, if I really wanted to, I can actually camp right here. So if you're up for entertainment or instructions, educational instructions on the park, here is a perfect place to go. Um, I don't know what exactly what kind of programs they have, but I'm pretty sure they have pretty interesting ones. So this area I do remember because it has laundry mat, it has showers,
restrooms and back in the days it used to have a tiny little store where you can get the you know bare necessities such as firewood and uh, anything you might have forgotten but the cool thing about it is that there behind me there is a meadow where well I'm not sure if it's really is a meadow but looks like one um, it's small enough so that way if you want if you have a big family and you just want to have them together you can go ahead and keep them all together in one little area but if you notice um, there are some picnic benches over there and there are several campgrounds or campsites around this particular area. So if you don't want to be in the darkness where you know the beautiful redwoods are growing, you can actually be in an open space with a lot of light. So this is the first. This is the first time I've ever heard that they had log cabins. Well, it kind of makes sense because you know this is after all a very developed campground. So having a area where you can actually uh, camp uh, you know, do some hiking and also, uh, I guess, rent a cabin. This would be the perfect place to do so. They also have a pool, which right now is currently covered. I don't know if you can see in the background, but it's currently covered. But um, I don't know if I really want to stay in a cabin. Maybe I'm more of a camping kind of person. The cabin. So in case you have just only one day and you'd like to have a nice little picnic, you can actually picnic in this area, which is a day-use parking, and it's right next to the little river. So you get to have um, a little bit of calmness and be able to eat and barbecue.